Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and today I'm going to talk about something that, as someone who likes to save money, this is very personal to me, and I wish I knew this, because there's, there's money wasted here. And the title of this video, The Sad Fact of Multiplayer DLC. And it comes down to multiplayer DLC is... It's an interesting beast, let me tell you. It's a limited time investment. Let me explain. So multiplayer DLC is DLC that is mainly focused on multiplayer. Um, take, for instance, anything on Battlefield that gives you more maps than normal, right? Um, four extra bonus maps, six extra bonus maps. Call of Duty, four multiplayer DLCs a year, right? And what happens to literally almost all DLCs. Battlefield 1, they did a great job, by the way, where they rotate around sets of DLC maps on the servers. So Battlefield 1 does not have this problem. Lots of other games do. And um, they basically, it goes like this. You have your player base. This many by a DLC, this many by two DLCs, this many by three DLCs, and like this many by four DLCs. There's a lot of people that just buy four DLCs, right? And... What happens after a game launches is the player base goes like this, and then usually it just goes down slowly, and you know less and less people. So in the beginning you might have a million people, by the time the first DLC comes out there's 100,000, the next one is 50,000 people, the next one is 40,000, and there's a trend where people just don't stop playing the game, and people with the DLCs stop playing the game, so the DLC maps actually die out. I watched a video by someone, I don't remember, I'm going to try to remember to link him up. His name is Beezlebuns. It's an interesting channel. Holy crap, it looks like God is coming out out there. But his name is Beezlebuns. And he made a video talking about Halo Reach DLC maps. And I did not know this. All the Halo Reach DLC maps are free. But no one knows it, and no one has them downloaded. So most of the Halo Reach DLC maps, you don't get to play. Any of them, in fact. In multiplayer, it's almost impossible to play the Halo Reach... DLC maps because no one has them and no one that has them plays the game right and the people that do have them get mixed with people that don't have them and that's what happens to multiplayer DLCs so you have like Call of Duty by the season pass sometimes I remember I did this between I did a Black Ops 2 then I did Ghost season pass Black Ops um their Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for four years that's 200 bucks of DLCs most of those DLCs I don't play anymore. Honestly, the maps. Uh, I don't play Black Ops 2 anymore. I, I'm looking and like fixing the camera here. Black Ops 2 I don't play anymore. Ghost I don't play anymore. Advanced Warfare I don't play anymore. And Black Ops 3 I sometimes play a zombie map on. Right? So $200 of investments goes down to nothing. I've had some... Black Ops 2 I think was the only one that I actually liked. Um, genuinely. Call of Duty Ghost was nothing. I don't remember those. Advanced Warfare, I don't even... I did not play DLCs 2 through 4. Right? World War 2, I have the season pass. I have not touched a DLC map on World Call of Duty World War 2. Right? So that's $250 I've dropped on DLCs that I don't play anymore. That no one plays anymore. I don't have the option to play these things anymore. And they are DLCs. Right? I downloaded them on my console via Digital Marketplace. So you guys all know what that means. I said I don't, can't give them away. I just have $250 of content I can't use anymore because no one plays the freaking match. Black Ops 2, you might find a DLC match every once in a while. But it's just, it's one of those things that it's sad because so many people buy these DLCs and enjoy them. Battlefield 4 great DLCs. They released them for free, and anyone who bought them, I mean, there's no one playing, most people don't play Battlefield 4 DLC maps anymore. Then you have the uh, Battlefield 1. I mean, they kind of, tr they're trying to keep the DLCs alive, but, I mean, the Incursions DLC, no one plays. Literally, I went on, and it said across all servers, there was two people. I'm like, dude, can't. The only game I see where people actually play the DLC because it's free and integrated in the game is Rainbow Six Siege. Ba and so, multiplayer DLC dies out if it's not free. Very simple. Very simple statement that is true. And it sucks because 
I mean, if you look at some of the things like Call of Duty, four DLCs is like a whole Call of Duty game. The developers make a whole nother Call of Duty game and no one plays them after a year or two. Battlefield 4, whole nother call, whole nother fucking Battlefield game. No one plays them anymore. So, it sucks. I wish it wasn't like this way, but... You know, I, I like that we're advancing to the free DLC market where the developers are just like, Hey, we're going to put in some cosmetics that you can buy. Loot boxes I don't like, but I like when they're like, they put in like 60 to to $100 worth of cosmetic content you can buy. That's great, right? That's what it should be. And I think it's better, and then they just release free DLC because they like their games, right? I feel like now it's like, I don't know if it's true or not, but I, I think it's a hypothesis that developers are getting forced to put out, put out these games, and they're not, they're not finished. Look at World War II. Call of Duty World War II. The amount of stuff that they're putting into that game is insane. It's literally becoming an insanely good Call of Duty. So I don't play it anymore, though, because of those loot boxes. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Jesus! Stop! Outside! Literally, Jesus, go away, please. It's like two seconds. The lighting sucks right now. What is your favorite DLC from anything? I think... You know, I try to think of, like, what my favorite DLC is. Mine is actually the breakdown mode from State of Decay 2. I think that's the best DLC. That or the, uh, um, one of the Battlefield 4 DLCs. I don't remember the name of it. China Rising. Or the one with, like, the desert map in it. Let's so say that. But I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make. I don't even use Steam it anymore. Don't worry about Steam it posts.